Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. So today I wanted to bring you another rave review about a product that I have been absolutely obsessed with ever since I got it. And today I wanted to talk about the Beauty Blender. So what is the Beauty Blender first of all? It is a sponge that is used to apply your foundation, your concealer, whatever you want to use it for. Um, it can also apply different cream products, um, you know, just, it can be used for whatever, pretty much. So what is so special about this, uh, little makeup sponge? Um, it's, first of all, it's velvety soft, and second of all, unlike most sponges, the little wedge sponges that you use, this sponge does not absorb quite as much of the foundation or concealer as your regular wedge sponges do. Um, the way that you use this is you will take your beauty blender, put it under the water and just kind of squeeze it so the water is completely absorbed in the sponge. Then you squeeze it out enough to where it's not just absolutely dripping and it will puff up pretty much double its size. So this is a brand new clean one that I haven't used. This is one that I've been using. So, um... I will warn you, this does get a little dirty. It's very clean, actually. I just cleaned it. I, The demonstration I'm about to show you, that's the only foundation that has touched this Beauty Blender since I cleaned it last, so they do stain pretty badly, and they look really yucky. But um, what makes this so special is it's ergonomically designed. It's in the shape of a teardrop, pretty much. And the fat end you can use to just apply your overall foundation, but the pointy end you can use for little spots that are hard to get to, like around your nose, under your eyes, everything like that. So you can use this to apply your foundation all over, and you can use the little pointed end to apply your concealer and everything, and it just blends it out beautifully. Like I said, I'm fixing to show a demonstration of how to apply this. So, I will show you how I use it. Um, these are, just for one, it's $19.95, which it's a little on the expensive side, but when you think about it, it's a really good investment. So, anyway, um, I'm fixing to show you my demonstration, so okay, keep first, watching. I'm going to put on a primer, and I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer. Just very quickly apply that. Now I've already wet mine, but before you use your beauty blender, you're going to want to wet it down. And as you can tell, it gets a lot bigger than its normal size. So this is one that has never been used. It's completely clean, never been wetted down, and I've been using this one, so it's a little stained and dirty. Um, that's probably one thing I don't like about this. It stains very easily, and I have been really, really consistent with cleaning this very well. So you want it damp, but you don't want it where there's water running out of it. So now I'm going to use my favorite um, foundation. That is my NARS Sheer Matte in Mont Blanc. And put some on the back of my hand. And that's about as much as I use for my whole face. Don't let it scare you. It's not a whole, whole lot. Now you're going to just kind of pat your beauty blender on the back of your hand and just start wherever. And you can just start, you know, just kind of putting the foundation on your initial coat wherever you want to put it. Then you can go back to the areas that you've 
put your foundation on and just pat it on and this just blends beautifully. And you can take the smaller end of it and kind of get in the little areas and crevices that it's a little harder to get in with the fat in. So as you can tell, it gets the foundation on just perfectly. It's perfectly blended. It really cuts down on your application time. Okay, so I just saw the Beauty Blender in action. As you can tell, my makeup just looks flawless. It doesn't leave any streaks, doesn't leave any of the weird little spongy looking texture on your face. It doesn't do any of that. The only thing about it is the type of foundation that you use. So I happen to be using the NARS Sheer Matte. This foundation dries pretty quickly anyway, so if I want to, if I just want to um, kind of refresh it a little bit, because sometimes when I'm applying it, it'll like dry right here and leave a little ring or something. I can just take my MAC Fix Plus spray, give it a couple of sprays, and I just like to squeeze it. I just like to squeeze the crap out of this thing and just kind of, you know, do your little stippling motion and blend it out and it just looks amazing. I actually haven't tried this much for concealer yet, but I haven't really had a need to use it for concealer because my face, it isn't really broken out that bad, so I haven't been using concealer that much and I use a brush for under my eyes, so anyway. Um, like I said before, these are pretty expensive. Depending on what you get, these come in singles, or you can get one with two, or you can get the kit that I got, and you can just get one beauty blender and one blender cleanser, or you can get two of the beauty blenders, which come in a little packaging like this, and I know it looks pretty funky, but that, and then you can get the blender cleanser. Um, the blender cleanser has kind of a funky smell to it, so it's definitely something you got to get used to. It looks super, super watery in the bottle, but it's actually really nice gel. You can use this as a brush cleaner or use it for its purpose intended to clean your beauty blender. And like I said before, these stain pretty bad. So that's one bad thing about them. No matter how many times you scrub it, believe me, I've tried, it's going to be dirty. But overall, this has gotten my Beauty Blender pretty darn clean. You can also, let's see, you can dilute the blender cleanser with a small amount of water, swish brush into the cleanser, rinse, and dry with a soft cloth. So that's how you can use it to clean your brushes. Just dilute it with a little water and all that. I think this kit, which comes with two beauty blenders and the blender cleanser, it's $39, but I waited until the Sephora VIB came about and I went ahead and bought it for um, the 15% off. So I got a little bit of money off of it, but I'm not going to lie and say that this thing is cheap. This system is not cheap. It is a definite investment. I mean, spending $20 on a little makeup sponge is crazy, but this is not one of those fad products. It really does what it says it's going to. I love this thing so much. It has cut down on my makeup application so much because if I showed you my foundation routine, which I did, if you haven't seen it, you can click back to some videos or I'll probably link it down below. 
Um, but I, you know, dotted the stuff on my face, then went through with the brush and buffed it all in. If I had to put a little more on, I'd just kind of tap it on and everything. But seriously, this takes like a minute to put your foundation on. It is amazing how much time it has cut down from my foundation routine. My only complaint with this, the first time I used it, I used it with the Milk of Magnesia and it looked awful. I was thinking, oh crap, you know. I just spent a lot of money on this sponge and it looks like crap, but I persevered. I just used my Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer, or you could even use this with just a moisturizer, whichever you prefer, and it looks so much better. It looked just perfect and flawless and natural and beautiful. So I really hope you give this thing a try because like I said, it is not a fad product. It really does work well. And I love it. I have literally used this every day since I got it. And it's just amazing how different my whole makeup routine is now because I have this. The best thing in my opinion about this is you're supposed to use this for three months and then you can throw it away. But instead of throwing it away, why not recycle it? And that's exactly what you can do. They send you a little card that has an address on it where you can send your beauty blender in no matter what condition and they will recycle it and make brand new ones, I guess. So to me, that's the best part of it because it's amazing and it's eco-friendly. So we all know I love eco-friendly stuff. So I'm, I'm really glad this is great for the environment and it's just an amazing product. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will join me for other videos in the future. I'm really excited about the videos that I've got coming up. Um, so if you have any requests for anything, comment below, let me know, and I will do the best I can to bring you some videos that you want to see. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.